So this is the part of the day where we um, change out the puppy's bedding, put fresh blankets down, and get them all cleaned up. So I just have them out doing some exploring right now. So probably next week I'm gonna break down the whelping box and then what I'll do is put blankets down on the carpet and just have them inside of this exercise pen thing because um, they're getting to the point where they don't need the whelping box anymore. They're not newborns anymore. <laughs> Hagrid is literally straddling three different puppies at the same time. He is a beefcake. There's Seamus. He's just huge, look at him. So the biggest ones in the litter so far, someone asked about this earlier. So Hagger is the biggest, he is a whopper. Tom, Colin, and Seamus, oh and Grop, are all right behind him. And then the two girls, Dennis, who else, and Remus, are the four that are just like average sized. Of the smallest, I think as of right now, it's still Lily, but she's in no way the runt. She's she's not like dramatically smaller than everybody else. She's just a little bit smaller. I don't really think there is a runt of this litter. Sometimes there is one, sometimes there's not. It really just depends. But yeah, they're all investigating the new blanket and the new smells that they are finding. I just got back from Emily's barn so I smell like horses and other dogs and all of that cool stuff. So the puppies are kind of getting used to everything. Come here babies. Hi guys. Let's try to see your faces. Can we see your faces? Hi. Hi Grop. Come here, guys. Hi, Grop. Grop, you're so handsome. Look at your beautiful face. You know you're handsome, too. Yeah, you do. Do you want to come over here and play? You're still sleepy, kind of. Uh-oh, he's biting his brother. That's so rude. There's Hagrid. Tom is getting in there, trying to eat the blanket with his non-existent teeth. Oh my god, I can't handle your face. You are so cute. Here's Lily. Hi, baby girl. Let's see your beautiful face. Crop, you're just laying there like a little gentleman. Here's Lily. Hi, he's a sweet baby. Your sweet baby. Puppies. Hi, guys. I think that's Colin back there sleeping. Look how beautiful. <laughs> You're being very social today, Grop. Everybody else is just doing their own thing. He's a good boy. Grop has really cool markings. I don't know if I've pointed this out before, but check this out. His whole arm like his whole leg is just, it's half black. That's really cool. He has more like black on his Merle coat and his Merle base is darker than Hagrid's. He's just a really, really cool looking dude. You're so sweet. 
They're all so sweet. And then on his other side, see he's got, he's almost like he's split. Like this shoulder is solid. And then this leg, he's just really cool looking. I mean, I think they're all really beautiful, but he just has really like unique markings. Plus he's the one that's here. So I'm highlighting him a little bit till these other little dudes get over here. There we are. Hi. Can we see your belly? Can we see your belly? Oh. Oh. Who's coming over now? Is that Tom? Hi, Tom. Hi, baby boy. Hello. Hello. Okay. I'll put you down. Hi, Haggard. Hi. Hi, Haggard. What's up? You're so cute. This is Seamus. Seamus is a sweet dude. He's so cuddly. His head is enormous. It's it's so hard to like give you guys a f sense of size. But okay, so here's my hand. This is my hand. This is Seamus, and he's just beefy. Look at this dude. Hi, little belly. Hi. <laughs> Mom, stop holding me like that. Leave me alone. It's Hermione chewing on a blankie. There's more people back there, more puppies. Grop is going on an adventure over here. I'm excited to start doing um, the different like protocol things that we do with the puppy culture stuff. So that's happening, that's starting this coming week. Um, we're wrapping up the daily ENS stuff with them. So it's time to move on to bigger and better things. That's always exciting. I'll post a bunch of videos for you guys to see like how their progress goes. But um, Hagar, sweet. I know it's way too early to tell if the Merles are gonna have the funky Merle eyes, but I'm still checking like daily. But Emily says it could be weeks until we start to see that, so. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we'll start doing the puppy culture stuff and I'll post as many videos as I can um, just to see like their progress and like the different training things that we do with them. Cause it's all, it's all part of like the foundation to help them learn how to be super confident and smart and easily trained. Tom's gonna nail it. He's gonna nail it. He says, put me down woman, put me down. Who is this? Hi Seamus. Hi Seamus. Hi. It's funny how some puppies just get super tired and then pass out while everybody else is playing. And then as soon as these puppies pass out, she'll get up and start playing. Hello, this is Remus. Remus's eyes are still very squinty. Oh, here we go. They're getting more open by the day though. He's got some wave happening in his coat. There we go. Yeah, especially around his ears. He's a handsome boy. He's also pretty, everybody's gaining weight, but he's getting pretty, pretty chubby in the belly area. Hey guys, okay. Are we all just going on an adventure? Is that what we're doing? Okay, fantastic. So I think this video is too long to upload to YouTube or to Facebook, so I'll probably just save it to YouTube and then post the link for you guys. Oh, and next week we're also, so next week is the week where we start one new thing a day. Well, I guess it's really this coming week. Yeah, this, because they'll be three weeks old on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, so this coming week is where we start one new thing a day. So we introduce like a new sound, a new toy, a new experience. Um, so the new experience that we're gonna start with is um, clipping their feet with the 
the clippers. I'm losing my train of thought. Um, sorry, there's puppies crawling all over me. So we'll start clipping their feet and then um, just, I have been running it over their bodies just to kind of get them used to it, but I haven't actually been turning it, like shaving them. I've just been like buzzing their bodies so they feel the vibration of it. Um, so we'll start with clipping their feet and then a little bit on their bodies. I don't want to give them any funky haircuts quite yet. Um, just because I, you know, I want to see how their coats are going to grow in and everything. Tom, you're so sweet. Are you going to try to nurse my finger? Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll get your mom back up here to do her job here in a minute. So I'll post videos um, as often as I can for stuff like that and just kind of show you guys progress and everything. But it's always fun to see how it all kind of comes together. And these puppies are just real smart and real sweet. Look at them. Seamus actually has a ton of wave in his handsome coat. I think they'll all pretty be evenly waved. Even with poodle puppies, sometimes it takes a while before their wave really starts to come in. But you can see it. I mean, it's... It might be hard to tell, but I can tell. I know what I'm looking for. This ain't my first rodeo, is it, Seamus? No. Okay. Who's making the cute sounds back there, guys? Dennis and Colin, the Creevy brothers. Dennis is brown collar. Colin is no collar. All right, so that's it for now. I'm going to get their bedding stuff set up. Hope you guys have a good night. Hope you enjoyed this super long video. Sorry, it was kind of weird with the video, like, camera shaking around and stuff, but got to see some cute babies, so that can't be that bad. Everybody's behind me. <laughs> silly, silly monkeys. You are so cute. There's Hermione. Ooh. Did you, are you finding your big boy bark? Cool. Say bye, Hermione. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.